the bacteria, Burkholderia pseudomelae, is found in water and uh, soil in certain geographic areas of the world, including Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. If a person is exposed, then um, only um, one in, uh, one in 4,000 actually will go on to develop some type of disease. That could be a very mild disease, a skin infection, for example, or it could be a pneumonia, a lung infection, or it could be, in more severe instances, multi-organs that are infected. It was, in this particular case, um, in a laboratory, uh, used in a laboratory environment. Um, to learn more about the organisms and, and the virulence of the organisms and how we actually can protect people from acquiring the organisms or being infected. There are standard uh, practices to protect laboratory workers and the public from um, these types of releases. And so there's an ongoing uh, quality assurance and um, monitoring of these laboratories uh, to ensure that there are safe practices. We haven't determined um, that it is endemic um, in this particular area. Or that it hasn't been found, for example, in soil or water or even air um, to date. So um, there is no public threat um, that we know of. We are receiving uh, specimens um, from from non-human primates um, at the facility and we continue to test those and as we learn more information, the investigation is ongoing.